We just rolled into Lupton here, very close to the, well, we're pretty much right on the border of Arizona and New Mexico. We got Indian arts and crafts, jewelry, kachinas, and Route 66 souvenirs. This is the TP Trading Post. Neat place. They've got photo ops here for the family. They've got <laughs> a Route 66 mural and map. And then they've got a giant steel, I guess you call that a teepee, but it's, it doesn't really look like a teepee. And it says no videotaping inside. So we'll let this one go. TP trading post, you can see this large cliff behind us. It's gorgeous. This is like an entire complex of, of trading posts and a uh, little general store, gas stations. We don't know much background on this general store or any background on it really. Not much available on it. But it is definitely old and it's definitely been here, goodness, as long as I can remember traveling Route 66. So that's at least, uh, what, 45, 50 years. And here's an old wagon. That's cool. This is the Stain, State Line convenience store. And it looks like they have gifts inside. And next is the Chaparral Trading Post. And we've got a trading post here that's gone out of business. Look at the rocks and the cliffs behind that though. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Let me get past this building, see if I can get you a better look at those cliffs. Let's see what this one here is called. This is, uh, oh, this is Chief Yellow Horse. Okay, this is part of Chief Yellow Horse. And Janet does have information on Chief Yellow Horse. Okay, well, Janet, why don't you tell us about this uh, little, or, pretty big trading post complex that we're fixing to look at. Well, they call it the hole in the wall, but uh, the Navajo's been trading blankets and stuff like that for hundreds of years, right? But, uh, you know the guy Miller that did the stuff in um, Two Guns? Well, he did a bunch of stuff here in these dwellings. He made thick, fake dwellings here too. We're gonna look at that if we can. But um, Juan and Frank Yellow Horse from the Navajo tribe have been running this area, this trade post through, you know, through the generations of families, of the family, okay, the son, the grandson. I think it's Alvin now that's running it, but I mean, They've cut this area up. It's a real trading post. It's not just the touristy stuff, but the Navajo have been here for a long time. Hi. Is it okay? Oh, look at all the blankets they have. Look at them dolls. And blankets, more blankets, jewelry. 
wind chimes, dream catchers. We got a little bit of everything in here. Gifts and trinkets and trading post stuff. This is probably, as far as I know, the biggest complex of trading posts and gift shops in one place on Route 66. If you look up on top, Chief Yellow Horse put animals up there fiberglass animals just to help draw tourists in the first time you see them from about a half mile away they look so real <laughs> we'll go over here and see the the hole in the wall now when I was a kid we would stop at this one usually because they had the general store so my parents could stop and get snacks and stuff for the road, drinks. And right over here, in this area, this area was all fenced off. And Chief Yellow Horse used to have buffaloes here. And you can come over here and look at the buffaloes. And there was a lot of people that had never seen a real buffalo before. And this was their first experience of seeing one. But... They used to have this area fenced off, like I said, and you could not get back inside of here. So this is a real treat for me, being able to get this close to the hole in the rock. Look at that, isn't that neat? That is really cool. See now, if it was raining right now, I would not be getting wet because I am under the canopy of the hole. And then right up over here, on the rocks on this side, you can see there's a mural starting to fade. See if I can't get in front of it and stop so you guys get a good look at it. And this is all put up there as a way to draw tourists in. Because out here you may not have had a lot of competition but you still had to make the people stop. And this was the main building for Chief Yellow Horse here. The building's falling into disrepair. This shop here used to have the most incredible Indian pottery that I've ever seen. And I mean, Indian uh, pottery, when I say Indian pottery, I mean Indian pottery that, you know, the asking price on some of their, their pieces was $10,000, $12,000. That was 30 years ago. What a shame to see it like this. At least the rest of the complex, some of it is still going pretty strong here. Not much left inside, just relics. I'm gonna look in this window right here and check it out who knows there may be a, a pirate treasure or something in this window who knows if I don't look in it I'll wish I had no pirate treasure well that's the weirdest thing I've seen in a while if you look straight back over there, 
that blue thing on the floor over there that is a tiny little toilet i have no idea who would use a toilet that small it's too small for a baby but it looks like a real toilet that's bizarre Hmm. All right, give you guys, we'll give you guys one last look of Chief Yellow Horse's place here before we head on down the road. We're heading towards Gallup. We're gonna be staying in Gallup for, oh goodness, I think a week. So, we're gonna have lots of stuff coming up on Gallup. Gallup, New Mexico. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on the air 